Hello, I am FreeAZ, and this video is part of a series of videos I'm using to flesh out another One Piece theory, so you may want to watch that video first. Link in the description. I will do my best to make it so these videos can be watched on their own, but if you want the full context, you should watch the other video first. The basics are, I believe that Luffy's line in Chapter 1 about gathering 10 crewmates was meant to foreshadow Luffy meeting 10 crewmates in each sea he visited, for a total of 30 at the end of the series. I have found multiple patterns that not only share a rule, but work into another pattern I have found in how these characters were introduced, making me much less likely to believe these patterns are coincidence. Using these patterns, I was able to include every island we know Luffy will visit, or is very likely to visit, giving us a roadmap to the end of the series. The first video explains the patterns I have found, and gives a rough outline of how we are going to go from 9 crewmates to 30. These supplementary videos will flesh out anything else I think will happen in these individual arcs, though having the context of the first video will help. This video will contain spoilers for up to chapter 1083, so if you're not caught up, you've been warned. This video will go over the Elboth, Lodestar, and Laugh Tale arcs, and I'd like to start by showing you why I believe these arcs are grouped together. I think the last three islands Luffy visits in the Grand Line will parallel the first three islands he visited. Luffy met the Giants and learned about Elboth on the second island he visited in the Grand Line, Little Garden, while Elboth itself will be the second to last island Luffy visits before Laugh Tale. Whiskey Peak is the first island Luffy visited in the Grand Line, while Lodestar is the final island in the New World, where all the paths converge. Laugh Tale's parallel is Reverse Mountain, because I believe Laugh Tale is hidden inside of Reverse Mountain, where X marks the spot. Now for the Elboff arc, the prevailing theory seems to be that it will be about a Davyback fight against Shanks, which I believe is true. However, I believe there will be more to it than that. Most people thought that with Mihawk's connection to Shanks, he would end up joining Shanks in this fight, which would lead to Zoro and Mihawk's duel. With Mihawk joining Cross Guild, however, that idea seems to have flown out of people's minds. Buggy is now definitely going for the One Piece, and also has a very strong connection to Shanks. His circus theme is also perfect for a Davy back fight. I think Cross Guild joining this Davy back fight is very likely, as it would also give Mihawk a chance to fight Zoro. Now if Blackbeard were to also join this Davy back fight, it would be a four-way Davy back fight between the four Yonko for the fourth road Pawnee Cliff. Now because it's a four-way Davy back fight, the rules will likely change a bit, and there will probably be more rounds. The only thing I am certain will happen is that Shanks will win one round and choose Usopp because of Yasopp, though he will rejoin by the end of the arc. For some of the other rounds, First, I think it is likely that Zoro loses to Mihawk here. Zoro achieving his dream here would make him achieve his dream way before everybody else, so I think it is more likely that Mihawk ends up joining Blackbeard's crew at the end. This would make Zoro's most important fight, his final rematch with Mihawk, on God Valley, the second to last fight in the series, right before Luffy defeats Blackbeard and fulfills his dream. I also think it's likely that during the final round, Luffy chooses to take back his straw hat from Shanks instead of taking the fourth road Pawnee Cliff. This would lead to a stalemate with all parties getting the final road Pawnee Cliff and rushing to Lodestar. Lodestar is the last known island in the Grand Line and is where all the different routes converge. With all of these different factions trying to find the One Piece and the Marines trying to stop them, anyone and everyone can show up. At some point throughout this arc, all of the final crewmates, minus Vivi and Gaimon, will show up at some point. While Luffy will definitely visit the island itself, and may fight Zoro there as a parallel to Whiskey Peak, I think most of the action is going to take place at sea, in the search for Laugh Tail. This is where the 15-man Straw Hat crew will face off against Blackbeard's 15-man crew. The important matchups are Luffy vs. Blackbeard, Zoro vs. Kaido, Sanji vs. Big Mom, Smoker vs. Kuzan, and Jinbei vs. Weevil. I think a lot of these fights are going to be duo fights, to incorporate the uninitiated members of the final crew, and give them a reason to board the Sunny at some point. Luffy and Kobe taking down Blackbeard will be an allusion to Roger and Garp taking down Rocks. 
I think this will happen here rather than God Valley later, because I think in order to surpass Roger, Luffy will end up finishing Blackbeard in a one-on-one. -on -one. Zoro following in Ryuma's footsteps and slaying a dragon is something that Oda has been setting up for a long time. This is why the Zoro kills Kaido theory got so popular. It's true, they just got the context of it wrong. I think Momo will be the one to help Zoro slay Kaido, as he has also expressed interest in killing Kaido to avenge his father. It would be Zoro riding a dragon to slay another. Sanji has ties to Big Mom. She tried to have Sanji's family killed, and she ties into two very important parts of Sanji's character, his inability to hit women and his cooking skills. I believe that Sanji will see Big Mom abusing Pudding in order to try to get her to awaken her third eye power to decipher the Pontyglyphs. Now Sanji may end up actually fighting Big Mom to protect Pudding, but I think it is more likely that he sticks to his morals and does not hit her. He already stopped Big Mom's rampage in Whole Cake Island through his cooking, and it honestly might even be easier to kill Big Mom through food than force. Toshigi confronting Smoker on his choice to leave the Navy and join the Straw Hats would lead to a confrontation with Kuzan. I believe Kuzan will also die here along with Kaido and Big Mom. However, one of the Blackbeard pirates will be the one to kill him, likely suspecting him of being a member of S.W.O.R.D. It is said members of the Rocks pirates would even kill their own crewmates, and this would be the example of that in Blackbeard's crew. Jinbei have fighting Weevil because of Jinbei's strong ties to Whitebeard. I'm not as positive on who would fight Weevil with him, but Boa, another warlord, or Sabo, someone with connections to Ace, are good possibilities. Now, I will go over this more in a future video, but when it comes to deaths in One Piece, it seems like Oda is making an allusion to the Rule of Three myth in real life, where celebrities are said to die in threes. In Lodestar, I believe we will get six deaths, three allies of Luffy, and three enemies. Shanks, Dragon, and Garp on Luffy's side, and Kaido, Big Mom, and Kuzan against Luffy. With this, three of Luffy's mentor figures, and all four of the original Yonko, will be dead just before Luffy reaches Laugh Tale, with the old era ending and the new era beginning. This will also give Sabo and Kobe another incentive to join Luffy, with their mentors dead as well. At some point throughout these fights, all 30 crewmates minus Vivi and Gaimon will board the Sunny to escape the chaos, and will be there when Luffy finally reaches Laugh Tale. Now I'd like to go over why I believe Laugh Tale is inside Reverse Mountain. We have never really touched upon the X marks the spot trope at all in a series about pirates. This is because the overarching story of One Piece is about realizing that X marks the spot for the most important treasure in the story. This also plays into the X on the Jolly Roger, and if Mary Joie is destroyed to make the all blue like many people theorize, the remaining red line and grand line will form an X across the world. Laugh Tale is also said to be at the end of the grand line, yet Lodestar is the last island. Reverse Mountain is both the beginning and the true end of the grand line. There is also a good amount of evidence that Laugh Tale is inside of a whale, and the Reverse Mountain arc introduced Laboon a whale with an island inside of him. And of course, the irony of the One Piece being at the place every pirate entering the Grand Line has to visit. Luffy will initially reach Laugh Tale with what seems like 27 crewmates, one more than Roger's 26. There will be two people that Luffy doesn't anticipate, however. A stowaway, likely Buggy just trying to escape the chaos due to cowardice, and Gaimon, the man in the treasure chest who will just happen to be at Laugh Tale. Oda could make up just about anything to explain Gaimon being there, but I think the most likely explanation is that he was incidentally swallowed by the whale containing Laugh Tale. And with that, Luffy will finally reach Laugh Tale with 29, or Nika, crewmates, surpassing Roger's 26. Now, I'd like to talk a bit about the One Piece itself and I'm going to do that by talking about everything else it is besides the physical reward Oda has confirmed to be at Laugh Tale. Back in Fishman Island, Madame Charlie predicted that Luffy would end up destroying Fishman Island. Using this information, fans pieced together that since Mary Joie is directly above Fishman Island, Luffy would end up destroying Mary Joie, 
destroying Fishman Island in the process. The seawater from all four blues in the Grand Line would fill the void left over, creating the All Blue, and allowing free travel between the currently disjointed world, making the world one piece. In addition to this, destroying Mary Joie will also take down the Celestial Dragons and end their oppressive rule, creating peace, as in harmony, throughout the world. I believe Oda specifically used a homophone for peace for the title of One Piece, and this is supported by the accompanying Japanese text of the title, The Great Hitosunagi Treasure, with one of the possible readings of Hitosunagi being One Sea at Peace. In a lot of ways, what the One Piece truly is outside of the physical reward at Laugh Tale is an interconnected world and world peace. When the Straw Hats finally reach Laugh Tale, and learn the truth of the Void Sentry and the Will of D, both them and the reader will come to the realization that the treasure they've been searching for all this time has been this world peace. The true meaning behind the name of the treasure lost to time or purposefully concealed by the world government. Oda has confirmed that One Piece will end when Luffy finds the One Piece, and I believe that this means that when Luffy finds it and the crew comes to this realization, one Piece will end, and One Piece will begin. Oda has stated many times that Dragon Ball Z was the biggest inspiration behind One Piece, and I believe this is another part of that. The reason Akira Toriyama added the Z to the end of the previous Dragon Ball was because at the time, he planned to end the series soon, so he added the last letter of the English alphabet to the title, signifying the end. Now Z ended up being longer than the original Dragon Ball due to its popularity, but that was the original intention, and I believe Oda is attempting something similar, except it actually will end soon after the title change. This is the reason Oda cut Logtown short in order to make Luffy reach Reverse Mountain exactly at Chapter 100. The plan was to make the East Blue, the prologue of One Piece, exactly 100 chapters, while the epilogue, One Piece, would also be 100 chapters. I think it is likely that the last scene of One Piece as we know it is the Luffy just laughed scene, with the next chapter, the beginning of the Joy Boy flashback, being the beginning of this title change. And so the Straw Hats, with this newfound realization of what the One Piece actually is, will make a vow over Sake to take down the world government, destroy Mary Joie, and rescue Vivi the final straw hat to officially join, who will be captured by Emu at that point in the story. For that reason, I think the most likely option for the actual reward at Laugh Tale is Binks Sake. Binks Sake already has multiple connections to Laugh Tale and the One Piece, and with this, the line about delivering Binks Sake will be about delivering it to Luffy 800 years in the future, so he can make this vow and bring the dawn to the world. And with that, the next video will be about the true final saga of the series, One Piece.